Hey, my name is Pete Gregg. I'm the senior pastor of Emmaus Road Church in England, and I'm also the bewildered founder of the 24-7 prayer movement. John 5, verse 24, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes the one who sent me has eternal life. There was this Australian man called Arthur Stace. He was in the Australian uh, army. He tragically was an alcoholic from his teen years until his mid-40s. But then something happened to him that turned him into a, a legend in his home city, Sydney, Australia. He encountered Jesus Christ, and he responded to that encounter in an extraordinary way. He began to go around the city at night, secretly graffitiing a single word in yellow chalk copper plate on bridges and buildings and footpaths again and again. This word would appear around the city. It's estimated that Arthur Stace wrote this word in public spaces more than half a million times over 35 years. He became a legend. What was the word that encapsulated his encounter with Christ? Again and again, he had written the word eternity. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 says that God has put eternity in our hearts. Sigmund Freud said that the fear of death is one of the primary negative drivers in our lives. But Jesus says here that we already have eternal life if we will listen to him and believe in the Father. And so I must ask myself today, is there something Jesus is saying to me or has said to me in the past that I haven't received, I haven't believed, and I haven't acted upon? Because in doing that, in obeying Jesus, I step into life to the full, both now and in the world to come.
Jesus, who had done no wrong and committed no crime, was assigned the role of a criminal and sentenced to death. He was beaten, his body broken, before he was led to a hill outside the city. And there, lifted up on a cross, the Son of God died a slow and painful death. 